Mashallah class. Okay, so um, for today's lesson, I'm just going to share with you real quickly. Um, we are starting a new unit, Unité 3, and this is Cement Une. So this is the first week. And so today's lesson is actually mostly going to be in English, pretty much all in English, um, just to get us set up for some new things that we're doing in this unit. So I've titled this unit Lech. Class, what does it mean, Lech? We, it means to read or reading. So aujourd'hui, you need this video and the Google form which you started clicking in for um, attendance. You also need uh, for your participation and to answer some questions. And I really need you to do this today because the group one, our students are, are not doing it. They're doing something different. Um, and so I'm relying on you. I did this last year with my friend, all my French one students and I find it really useful and it helps me to help you better. So by the end of class, you'll be able to explain the impact of reading, what reading has, lire, in your own life and then also um, in the French classroom. So, um, I want you to complete the, not the whole entire Google form, but the first section um, on how you feel about reading. So please be honest. I will use it to help me plan better, like I said, um, the time that we spend in reading and to be able to find text that may be enjoyable to you. Um, and only I will see what you write. So it's going to get submitted to me. I'm not going to share it with anybody else. Um, so just, just be honest. Um, I, I know a little bit about how you feel about reading because we've spoken a little bit in the last unit in French. J'aime lire ou je déteste lire. But other than that, because we've been doing it all in French, I don't, I don't know much else. So this is in English, so be as detailed as you, you can. I want to get to know you a little bit better because reading is going to be a big part of what we do in French class going forward. So I want to be able to support you. So pause the video and uh, complete that part of the Google form. And it's going to, at the bottom, it's going to ask you to like move on next to the next section. When it does that, um, I want you to come back to the video. Okay, so now you're back. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about lire en français. So the first part you were talking about your experiences of reading in English, but now we're going to talk about lire en français. So there's a couple of things that I'm going to talk about. I'm going to do a lot of talking. And then um, I just want you to listen and to understand the reasonings behind it. And then you can demonstrate what you understand of what I'm saying on the Google form. Okay. So first question is pourquoi? Pourquoi lire en français? Pourquoi means why. So why, why read in French? Um, so studies have shown that more than 70% of a literate person's vocabulary in her first language comes from reading. That means um, somebody, a literate person is somebody that can read and write. And more than 70% of your ability to read and write and the vocabulary that you have, the, the, the number of words that you have in your first language come from reading. They don't come from your ability to listen or watch TV or, or any of those other things. It comes from reading. That is how powerful reading can be. And this is talking about in your first language. So if English is your first language or Burmese or Spanish or whatever, that is true for you. Okay, so you can apply the same principle to learning French. If you want to get better at French and have more vocabulary and know more words, we have to read more. Yes, you can listen to me and you can understand what I'm saying and that is awesome, that will help you. Um, and it will definitely help you make connections with learning words, but the reading is gonna be the most powerful in terms of your vocabulary. Um, so time spent in reading for pleasure is more valuable than time spent in direct instruction. So if you want to learn a foreign language um, quickly, thoroughly and fluently, then we need to read. Um, so I have tried to find, and I'm still developing my library, of a range of language reading material 
for the classroom that we have in the classroom, which is interesting, which is comprehensible. Doesn't mean that you are going to understand everything, but you know we're aiming for you to be able to understand like ninety percent of it. Um, and so there's a range, and we'll do this bit by bit. And um, there will there are books in the classroom, and if you're not in the classroom or you're not reading in the classroom, I'm going to make things accessible to you at home as well. And also I've tried to pick and select and buy whatever um, culturally authentic materials. So, and and the reason why I want to know what interests you is that I can ask Mr. West to purchase some other materials which may be of more interest to you depending on genre and that kind of thing. So um, when we get to reading I'll talk a little bit with you about strategies towards reading but for now just know that it's going to be a big part of what we do and that um, that it's really important because although it might take you out of your comfort zone in terms of it's not something that you enjoy in English, you might actually enjoy it in French and it's helping you to learn the language. So my next question, and this is corresponding on a Google form, is comment, which is how. So how are we going to do this? We're going to start avec la class. We're going to start um, in this unit just by reading together. Um, we're going to read as a class, I'm going to read to you, we're going to read the same text together, we're going to read the same thing in French and keep a similar pace. When we get to the next semester and in future years in French, there's a lot more independent reading, um, group reading, that kind of thing, and where you can like freely choose your text and on what you want to do. But for right now, I'm still your mama teacher and I'm still reading to you, with you, and guiding you, okay? Um, so we will have mostly time of a class, but there will also be um, time and visual where you can read by yourself a little bit, and then we'll read together and by yourself together. And then you may develop confidence to go off and read by yourself, maybe on a study day. Um, but I think at the beginning, you'll feel more developing your confidence of a class. Um, okay, so the next thing is con. So when, like how often are we gonna do this? When are we going to be reading? Is it gonna be every day? Is it gonna be all day, every day? No, <laughs> no, it isn't. So um, we're going to do mostly dedicate well, this is kind of old. This is Lecter Lundy, which is Lundy is what day class? Lundy is Monday. We, oui. And so we always used to read just on Mondays, but now I have G1 and G2. This is not always going to be a Lundy. So if you come, if you are G1, it will be like the Lundy. If you are G2 or B2, it will be like the Mardi, and we'll do it on Tuesdays, but basically just one day a week. One day a week, we will dedicate to reading it doesn't mean that you can't read on other days because if we only ever read one day a week our progress would be very slow but dedicated to reading in french we're going to just do uh like lundi or like mardi um the important thing with this is it, we really focus during this time and really um let go of other distractions so when you were in the classroom um, there is nothing else going on other than this book and you at the desk. Um, there's no computer, there's no noise, there's nothing else going on. And uh, we maintain this focus. And if you are fully virtual, then during this time on those days, you really need to create a nice, calm, relaxing, quiet environment as much as possible. And I know that's a challenge for some of you. But you can put earplugs in, you can put headphones in, but don't put the only music you can listen to is kind of like quiet background music, like waves crashing, white noise, that kind of thing, or uh, classical music, like something that doesn't have lyrics to it. Um, and so we're going to read this semester, the rest of this semester, hopefully we're gonna read two books on our Mondays, or Monday, Tuesdays. We're gonna start with one, which is called Heidi, 
and that we'll start with this tomorrow. Um, and then we'll move on to another book, hopefully if we have time, I'm not really sure on timing this year, but, um, but we'll see. All right, I just wanna check some of the other things that I usually talk about. And when we do this, this is so important that every time we do this, it's gonna be graded. And um, just to encourage you that it's worth it and the benefits outweigh anything else, any discomfort. Okay. And also a lot of you prefer reading after looking at the portfolios and the, um, you might not prefer reading, you might actually prefer listening and stuff, but you actually can understand a lot more through reading than you can through other things like through speech. And so normally you can read a much bigger vocabulary, a wider variety of words than we can in our normal speech. So le and learning words from context is much more effective than just learning a list of vocabulary. That's why we don't, ha I don't just give you a list of vocabulary like here, learn this. You tend to learn it in context um, and reading a book or reading a text is the best way to do that. <laughs> Hold on. Anyway, I'm finished for today. Wonderful. So Messi, finish that Google form and submit. Days, we 